Good afternoon you handsome lot, I've got a 2014 Jaguar XF and we're going to try our best to help this customer out with an exhaust gas recirculation cooler bypass control circuit fault. As you lot know, it is Friday and we're not going to be able to get parts for this vehicle so what we're going to have to do is try and improvise and try and do a Friday fix. But will it be permanent or will it be a temporary repair? I'm thinking this might be a little bit of a permanent solution, but we're gonna have a look and get involved. Now, the problem that we've got is this EGR bypass, coo uh, EGR bypass valve for the cooler is not working as intended because a spring has snapped. And I don't know whether you can see, I'm gonna get Ben to start it up and I'm gonna show you what this car's doing. Start it up, Ben. Start it up, Ben. World of his own. Now this EGR uh, cooler flap is meant to open. Just give it a rev up. You see it trying to move then. You just help it. It opens. Switch it off. And that now should close. Which is going to close on its own because it's vacuum operated. If it's closed, there you go. Now when you rev it up, is relying on this little spring around here to open that valve and with that spring snap it's not going to open now what I'm going to do is save him a lot of money and get him out of a bit of a sticky situation because he has got to travel a lot over the next week or so and I'm on holiday and we haven't got time to get it fitted so I'm going to go through my little junk drawers I'm going to see if I've got any springs. Right, well what I've gone ahead and done is put a little spring in there off the timing cover of that top bolt and down to the lever itself. I've just unhooked the ball, slid the spring over and then clipped that joint back on. And what I'm gonna do, give it a start. Oh, this should work. Start it up. You got it? A few moments later. Right, we've now got this car started. And as you can see, it is bolt shut. We just hold it up about 2,000 RPM. It should open. Look at that. Hey, let it tick over. Will it close? Perfect. Hold it up again, about 2,000 RPM. Beautiful. Right, well with that little temporary repair working, uh, that fault code now has turned around to a historical fault. So we're gonna go ahead, give them a clear. We've got no DTCs. We're going to take the car now for a little bit of a test drive because the customer was complaining. He did call in previously, and somebody else had a little plug in and said, "Oh yeah, once this and cleared it, and off the way, and off they went." We come back about 20 minutes later and see the lights come back on. So I'm going to go for a little bit of a test drive and make sure that this repair is perfect. Right, well we're out and about, and this car is driving absolutely faultlessly. Now, finally, the sun is coming through, and I hope it stays like this for next week because I'm, I am going away on holiday so I don't know what you lot are going to do without watching my daily uploads you'll have to go through some of my older stuff and just watch it I suppose but yeah I'm hoping that this does fix this car because it's a little bit of a drama that I could do without because next week I'm on holiday and then I've got a week back in work and then the following week I am going to Germany to Frankfurt we launch to Auto Mechanica over there which is going to be absolutely epic I'm going to be trying to do a little bit of vlog when I go over there try and talk to some companies manufacturers and see what we can do and see what's happening in the future and what's coming into the trade and what tooling is available and stuff and it's going to be good it's going to be good but anyway that's enough of me jibbery jabbering I'm going to go for a test drive 
Right, well after a successful test drive, I've been about 20 minutes or so in the vehicle. I'm gonna jump around now, read the four codes, got no DTC, so what we're gonna do is have a little look at some live data. We weren't, we searched by, bypass valve position measured, and we also want speed, engine speed, just to show you in a graph of Rooney. If I put it in a graph now, the left one is your engine speed, and the right one is the bypass flap opening and closing. As I raise it up now, you will see, let me combine them, you will see it opening and closing as I raise and lower the revs. Or lowering, should I say. If we let the revs off now, let it tick over, you'll see that orange light shoot back up. Raise the revs again, and it pulls it open. Now, as far as I'm concerned, fixed is fixed. And I probably stake a little bit of money on it that that fix is going to be more of a permanent solution rather than being expensive repair just for a tiny little spring. That's going to be working, it's never ever going to let the customer down. And there we have it, one Jaguar fixer Rooney. Now I'm going to start winding down and start finishing off a few little jobs. I've got a mini video which might be dropping either tonight. I don't know which way to drop this one tonight or that one tonight. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. But yeah, I'm going to go away for a week. I'm going to chill out, relax, and I hope you lot keep it safe. Anyway, let's get a sense.